So hello everybody, this is Psychedelic Eyeball and well, I'm just gonna let you listen to the awesome intro song of this game. I think we've heard enough right now, so anyway, yeah, welcome, we're gonna play Prince of Persia 2 for the SNES, the Shadow and the Flame. This port for the SNES was made, well, by Titus, and those of you who are probably aware of uh, other bad game release or something, know that, well, this is the same company that brought you such classics like Superman 64, yeah, this is made by the same company, and while Prince of Persia 1 for the SNES was a brand new game, well, this is a straight port, but holy hell did they mess up everything. And I literally mean everything. We had this awesome intro screen, the music and all of this, and let's just go to the password screen. What the hell were the developers trying to do here? Are they trying to make you seasick or hear sick or whatever? Just look at how much moving shit there is on the screen. Everything is moving. It's like, no, we can't be, we can't allow us to have a, a still password screen or something. Static graphics are for the weak. Well, I'm, I'm pretty weak right now, so I guess that we're just going to go back to the title screen in order to play this game. In fact, I don't even know why I'm playing this game. Well, I don't know. Consider this as some bonus content of, or some sort or something, because this is not going to be a serious LP in any in any stretch of the imagination. I'm basically just doing this to highlight how fucking horrible this is as a port. So let's do it. Now we have the intro. Yeah, we have the intro, which uh, doesn't make any sense anymore because they cut about half of it. Now our clothes are shredded up for absolutely no reason, because there's nothing animated. And it is also worth noting that, well, the intro into the PC version has voice acting, and well, this one doesn't have any, so it's inferior in every possible way. Just look at the, the wonderful animation here. Oh god, we're seeing ourselves! And apparently the prince doesn't care. Oh, now I think we're gonna get fucked. We're meeting our evil brother or something. What the hell is happening there? Because there's no context or anything, so... Why are we seeing that again? Uh, <laughs> that's wonderful animation work right here. When I'm telling you that this is so... Yeah, now we... He suddenly become a bearded freak and then just reverted back to normal and... Well, since there's no context... Uh, oh, fu what the... F I don't remember what the buttons are! Oh god. This is really well good. Uh, okay, so... Um, I think I'm pretty much fucked right here. Or maybe I'm not, because I have the capability to die in midair, but... Yeah, Jafar supposedly framed us, and now we have to do something about it, and... We have a time limit for some reason, and I don't really know why, because, well, as far as I'm concerned, well, the princess was not in danger or anything, unless it's about... Uh, no. <laughs> I really don't want that to happen. And it, sh it also should be worth mentioning that combat in this game is completely fucked. Because I died right here, do nothing, this guy didn't even strike out his sword at all, and well, this is not an emulator bug or anything, the game really runs this fast, so I can let you imagine how unplayable this game is, don't even try to block any attack or anything, because you're just not gonna do it. Considering that everything is too fast and all of this, oh, so there's a guy right behind you and <laughs> he's too stupid to actually, well, you know, climb on the ledge or anything like that, so. Alright, uh, oh, for, for one second I thought that my character was not gonna turn in time. So, uh, oh god, no, no. So, yeah, uh, oh, Jesus Christ, he just barely missed the little ledge right here, so now, I'm sorry, we're gonna have to go through all of this again. Well, you know what, fuck the fighting, we're just going to skip through, uh, ah, no, I don't wanna take her, I don't wanna be hurt right now, and I'm just going to let this guy die out again into it into his hole, or, or whatever, alright, yeah, you know what, uh, no, climb up the ledge! Or die inside the wall. Really, the 
As you've probably have noticed, start noticing already, there's really a huge lack of care, well, into the programming or, well, pretty much anything. The music seems like some sort of Adam's family ripoff or something. Uh, oh shit, we're gonna die once again. And it's only because of the incredibly awkward control that this game has, because, well, uh, oh Jesus Christ, strike your sword, you moron, but yeah. Just wanted to do a little demo because, well, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna mention this a whole lot, but yeah. Because when you jump into the... Uh, oh, fuck. No, this is not the time for... Uh, I suppose that I'm going to do this demo later, but... I'm gonna have many opportun... Many opportunities later to... Oh, hey, this is the... F Aha, I'd like to see you come to me. Oh, uh, this guard doesn't even try to go for you. Ah. So I um, guess we're gonna have to settle with this retarded dimwit cousin who just decided that we'll... Ah! Oh my god, fuck this game. Yeah, I'm... I'm only in the intro of all and I... And you can already tell that I'm having trouble, mainly because nothing works the way it's supposed to work. Because if I was playing a well program or design game, I would be able to climb up the ledge, but no matter how close I am to the ledge that I'm trying to to escalate, well, I just can't climb it. Uh, did he hurt me by jumping in front of me or something like that? Because this is badass. I got... Oh my god. What, am, what do I have to do to, to climb up here? Usually this level is not hard, but now everything is just making it way harder than it should be, so... Yeah, after wading through these wonderful obstacles, we're down to the marketplace. And, uh, and now, <laughs> right now, I'm really doing really bad at fighting, but... Well, fighting in this game is mainly just mashing random buttons, so there's no skill involved. Oh, I am showing finesse. But yeah, since Swordmans are really retarded, you can pretty much cheese them just by not being an impatient gorilla ape. So anyway, let's go to the marketplace. And apparently, well, the prince just decided to go onto a slaughter because he just realized he's in a shitty game and he just slaughtered a whole man, a middle-aged man as well then well, a child, and now the game just decided that he's a bad model to respect in video games or something, so they just killed him off. This is how you censor people. So anyway, now we're gonna go and- uh, Oh fuck, can we grab our boat? Oh, yeah. Because, uh, well, I'm gonna explain it later because we have another cutscene. And once again, the animation just makes it incredibly good. Especially here! Now, I mean, what happened? Do, are we suddenly sleeping into the palace, or is it... I really don't know what's happening. And now... Well, apparently Jafar stared down at the boat so hard that it just decided to go apart in pieces and, well, just be completely destroyed, so... Uh, okay. But anyway, the... The main moral of this story is now we're shipwrecked and there is no escape out of this island as you've just seen right here. So we're stuck onto the most evil tourist trap ever and now we have to wait through a puzzle and right now we have... You, you see a tile which has a skeleton on it, well... The same multi... the same... Graphic... They didn't even... Code this part of the game properly. Well, the way it's supposed to go is the moment that you walk off a tile, it falls into the sand. And well, you have to make it so that all of the tiles fall in the sand except the one that has the graphic on it. But well, the one tile that I was stepping upon was too much in a hurry to actually go away. So, uh, what? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, okay, steady now. Okay. That's a good prince, now we can finally live, because this is the last thing, and here we go, the way to the Skull Caves has been opened. And this is a good place as many to stop this video, so that later on we're gonna delve into more morbid and horrible detail as to why this port is horrible. Next video we're gonna play the entirety of the Skull Caves, all four levels in one video, because frankly, 
This game and port doesn't deserve any better than that. This is all you're gonna get, and this is all that I want to do as well. So, enough staring down into the entrance of this cave. I wish all of you goodbye.